Francisco Diego. He's a lecturer of uh, physics and astronomy at the University College of London. Thank you so much for being with us on the program. Now, just walk us through this process moving forward and the kind of information that they'll be able to have access to within the next two or three weeks. Well, it is um, a complicated uh, trip uh, at the moment. Uh, Chandrayaan-3 is in orbit around the Earth, and it will be picking up speed using the gravity of the Earth to finally, in a few days, just to launch and then uh, jump into the orbital moon, where it will remain a few more days to slow down uh, with the gravity of the moon and finally release the lander. And um, it's an amazing mission, I think. Um, the, uh, the scientific achievements is not so much, of course, it's going to measure a lot of things, including actually taking spectra of the of the Earth to, to look for signs of life on Earth, which is uh, something that is being used to, to find life in other planets, which is an uh, add-on, if you like, an additional experiment that could be done well, almost for free in this case. But essentially what this is doing is uh, starting a, a proper landing on the Moon where two more Chandrayaan-4 and 5 will come later. Chandrayaan-4 is going to drill uh, quite one and a half meters uh, below the surface, extract some samples, and Chandrayaan-5 is expected to, to return samples to the Earth. So this is just the first of, of those uh, missions, which are fantastic, I think. Right, every mission on its own has accomplished uh, very uh, significant things, like, for example, Chandrayaan-1 played a crucial role in the discovery of water molecules on the Moon which they can further now explore with this mission, given that they're aiming for the south pole of the moon. Uh, yes, no, well, this, is, this lander is not exactly landing on the, on the south pole of the moon. The, I, I, the coordinates I, I have are about 60 degrees uh, south, which is uh, not quite in the south pole. But um, uh, eventually, yes, we, we need to explore more the south pole, which is where the water was found, and where the conditions, because of the sun altitude, uh, and uh, uh, day and time and uh, temperature conditions are more friendly for a, for a lunar base. All right, Francisco Diego, thank you so much for being with us here on the News Hour. It's a pleasure speaking to you. It is a pleasure. Thank you.